The long, easy to control. Do I have permission to take off? Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Flight Test. Today is a special day because we lately have had a odd fascination with tiny little microplanes. Yeah, we got the power up dart. Now, if you guys know that we like building small little things, we oftentimes find ourselves throwing chuck lighters across the room. This is actually a way to make your paper airplane fly and it's pretty cool and it's under 40 bucks, which is also pretty cool. But what really got us excited was people are taking this to a whole nother level. Uh, shout out to um, Max Zhu. I think he, that's how you say his last name. It's just XU, which is a sweet last name. We did a little research and we came across Max's videos and what he's been doing is he takes the power pod out of the uh, power up this little pod right here and he's been making all kinds of really cool airframes he did a long easy he even did a right flyer yeah. he did a uh, b21 uh, bomber yeah. with with no vertical stabilization and no ailerons and it still flies great so it kind of inspired us so what we're gonna do today is we are going to not only play with power up darts because they're a lot of fun as is but we're also going to see if we can take some and we're gonna try to make our own airframe see if we can get them to fly. $40 plane, you can't beat that. Any plane under 50 bucks that flies doesn't get any better than that. If you guys have been watching videos for a while, you might remember my long easy that I've been working to develop. Yeah. And that's not like quite micro. It's running off of, now we're leaning towards Power Pack A. So I think I'm gonna go that way and try to do a long easy, kind of like Max's. Max did a sweet long easy and it looks like it flies great. Advanced. And if I could get mine to fly half as good as Max's, I'll be happy. Yeah, I wanna go simple here. Uh, I saw recently a lot of community members are trying to make a micro wing. So what I think is I love the arrow. There's been a lot of people building the arrows. I kind of got my blood going again. I want to just make a simple flying wing that we can fly that'll fly real slow and docile and, and just kind of glide through the air and wings all left. So we're going to get the foam board and we're going to get some CA, not hot glue because we got to keep this whole plane under what, 20, 22 grams? I always like to keep it under 20 grams. Yeah, Max actually, thank you for the tip. He gave yeah. us a, a tip on one of his videos. He said 22 grams or less and you should be good. So you got to keep it light. This is going to be probably the lightest plane I've ever made. Love it. All right, let's do it. Good work. All right, so out of the box, it, this is the takeoff and landing one so right out of the box we crack this open you can see you get your power up module this right here i believe is the wing spar as well as a uh, tail skid landing gear there which is nice simple usb charger you can charge that bad boy anywhere extra prop other than that comes with a manual and it comes with four airframes which actually fly really good we've had a lot of fun with these we're not going to need those today because we're making our own if we know that we have limitations like how much weight we can do the first thing i do is let's make our playground so i got a chunk of foam here we want to keep this thing all up underweight under about 20 grams right here i just chopped off a chunk and that looks like a lot of weight right there that's 20 25 grams 26 grams but check this out we don't need the kind of rigidity that we have from the paper so we can pull this off so now look at that we have 13 grams of weight after removing grams that paper. and that's a lot of surface yep. area and by the way this isn't a new concept here we have actually a program called ft stem and that actually takes people through the edm wheel which is the engineering design model and that teaches people how to do research come up with an idea test the idea communicate their idea it's amazing check that out in the link below but basically i got a piece of foam here that I know is within the parameters. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this down. I'm gonna lay this over top of it, and I'm gonna draw my plane around it, which is gonna be a flying wing, which means everything is hopefully gonna give me lift. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, kind of along the same lines as Josh's, I'm gonna get out a piece of foam that I know is not gonna be too heavy. I'm gonna start working with it. And what I'm kind of going for is I wanna do a long easy, but I think I'm gonna do a simplistic long easy. Max's long easy is like a beautiful scale model. It looks like a real freaking long easy, which is awesome. Me, I'm gonna go for more of like a profile, kind of like our STEM chuck gliders, which we have, we use it in the STEM curriculum all the time. Those things glide great. I might even add a little bit of dihedral to give it some self-correcting tendencies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the foam board as well. Start there and see where it takes me. All right, so we made something. We made some we made progress, stuff. as you can see. So Josh, what do you got going on here? I got a triangle with little flippers on it, is basically what a I got. A triangle flipper, I like it. By the way, hooking this up to the app, when you go through, they give you a tutorial, and one of those pages is not only free plans for uh, paper airplanes, but it's also foam planes. Yeah, that is one thing that I have to say with these power-up planes. Like, the, the coolest thing about them actually is the app. And one of the other cool things that I really liked is it almost kind of forces you to go through a tutorial, which is perfect for people who aren't familiar with aviation, with our, aren't familiar with aerodynamics. CG, CG it gives you all the basics, which is really cool and really helps people have the most success uh, right out of the box on their first flight. What we have going on here is you got your flying wing triangle yes. flipper. Yep. I got the uh, long, easy light. 
<laughs> it's, <laughs> UMX Ultra Light Easy. It's the, it's the simplest uh, possible long easy that I could imagine. And basically what I did is we took our stem chuck glider, scaled it down, took all the paper off, yeah. and there we have it. We got the uh, long easy light. So before we go out for our actual first flight, there's a couple things that can actually maybe help you have success before you go. And this is not just with power-ups, this is just in planes in general. Like designing 101 really. Yeah. And actually it's a kind of an insight to what we do before we design anything. Yeah. We make it a glider. Yeah, make it a glider. If it can fly without power, when you add power, things are only gonna get cooler. Yeah. So the idea that we're gonna try here is even in here with a plane this small, we could do it right here and just kind of throw it, make sure your CG is good, see if it's nose diving, see if it's maybe ballooning up, like maybe it's tail heavy. And then from there, you can make minor adjustments to either your CG or your control surfaces. Let's go with yours first, because I feel like mine's gonna break if you just uh, look at it wrong. Here, I'll toss it to you. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Whoop. Oh, dang, dude. Dude, a little less stuff. So, it, it, yeah, it stalled, but then it looked like it was pretty good, actually. It looked like I just threw it a little too hard. Okay, come down. Here we go. <gasps> dude, that was pretty legit. I think we got it. <laughs> it's crazy how multiple foam is without it. Yeah, I'm just gonna bend this up a little bit. So it's basically like a, the same idea as a control surface. Uh, the reflex, which means the back of the wing goes up a little bit. And if you think about it, when the air goes over there and it hits that surface, it's going to push down on it, causing the nose to go up. So that's the idea. Let's see how it works. Here we go. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Dude, that's okay. amazing! Dude, Burt Rutan's my hero. Burt's the man. The long easy is always just, it doesn't matter what you do, they just fly good. Oh, wow. Dude, this long easy has a radial engine, it sounds like. The long easy to control. Do I have permission to take off? Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. So, basically we have, you have fuel, you got throttle, and then you have your turning like this, and you can actually see the horizon on there, and it's moving your little rudder right there. The only one thing left to do, go outside and say goodbye to our planes. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Ooh. that's one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh. Oh, you that go. Mean, no, that seems, means I get to pick. You go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I All don't right. want to go first. Do you All want right. me to launch you? Yeah, give me, give me a launch. All right, I'm a little nervous. I'm you ready? Nervous. <laughs> Got a little plane! That is a little anemic. Yeah, but, but it, it turns! It's working, dude! Dude, it turns! <laughs> oh, I gotta tilt it. I, I get lost, I forget that I'm yeah, actually I flying just... it. I'm like, it's doing it! <laughs> I literally am watching it. I drop the phone. Guess what I'm doing? I'm giving it all rudder. Dude, that's awesome though. Flip. All right. Let's try this one. Let me get out my dude, controls. This, I feel like the magical mo moment. This, mine's start. definitely easier to launch than yours. So there's actually, the cool thing is, is they actually set you up for success. They'll talk you through things like, you know, trimming your plane. They'll fire up the, uh, the motor. They'll draw air over it. And then you'll actually adjust the magnet here so you have a nice neutral throw and you can, oh, okay. you can adjust trim on your plane. So there actually is trim. I thought there you were trim. joking. No, no. All right. Ready? Nope. <laughs> Let's go though. I believe, dude, I think this is going to be a moment that changes all of our lives. Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm happy with that first flight. First flight? Better than I was gonna than I was expecting. Round two. Cleared. Try bending these up just a little bit more. Cleared for takeoff. Alright, here we go. You're getting there, man. I ain't going back. That's pretty good. Go go little flight! <laughs> go go! You can yeah. do it! You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, watch, watch out, out for the building! <laughs> no! Oh! No! Oh my gosh! That was awesome! That was the best flight of my life! That was the highlight of my career right there! Oh my gosh! Dude, that was cool. Alright, we gotta try yours again. Alright, dude, I don't think I can compete with that kind of awesome. <laughs> it was so funny because it was like slightly high alpha. It was like the slowest long easy ever. Bert Rutan is smiling right now and he doesn't know why. He's like, I'm just so happy right now. Into the wind? Yep. All right, I'm gonna go a little conservative this time. Oh, that was the worst throw ever. But look at that recovery. Dude. Look at that. Dude, it's flying. <laughs> Don't Bring it back. Away. Left. Away. There Left. he goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back, dude! Bring it back, dude! She can't, she can't fight the wind. <laughs> she can't fight the wind. 
I can't find the way, I'm just climbing. <laughs> just, All right, I'll just land on the other just side. Just keep of the it thing. going. <laughs> oh, no, on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You know what? I figured out every time I gotta just remember I'm flying the thing. It's not like a paper airplane flying away, and it flies great. The only thing I couldn't do is come back. But yeah, I'd, I'd say normally you probably would want zero wind, so like a, a dead calm yeah. sunset. We're like high noon, like it's like windy and thermally, and we got all kinds of Anything different activity. Mm, not that I can awesome. see. Did I hit any cars? <laughs> no. We actually yep. landed perfectly in the gravel. We just wanted to uh, share this with you guys yeah. to just kind of show off how you don't need a ton of expensive gear to really explore the adventures of aerodynamics and stuff like that. The Power Up is a great platform for, especially for people who are new. Uh, and even without the Power Up, even without the $40 module, just building paper airplanes and learning how planes fly, you can do that on a budget. And this is a great example of that. I was really shocked when we actually flew this, how easy it is to fly and how much control you really yeah. have. So don't take this design and think this is a good representation they actually give you free plans from paper airplanes yeah. to foam and also that mr zhu zhu yeah zhu. max zhu yeah. shout out to max on you YouTube. you're a huge inspiration man he he does some awesome stuff with these power-ups and it inspired us and hopefully yeah. it'll inspire you too and uh you were mentioning their airframes it actually comes with four airframes and they're just paper planes yeah. but they actually do fly great especially in dead calm conditions so thank you to power up for sending us these power-ups check the link below if you want to find out more about power-ups and until next time guys if you haven't subscribed Make sure you do so, and we'll see you guys next time.